Welcome to another edition of Joe's Record Store in the rockin' closet of rock and metal. And, uh, well, it's like the third episode I've done in a row with uh, Christian-oriented Norwegian bands that play metal, especially the extreme metal genre. Um, this is probably number two to Antester, um, not Ant to Extol, my... This is my other favorite Norwegian band, aside from Extol, is Antester, and, uh, this is probably one of the bands I have, I, well, I have that false sense of superiority, because I have bragging rights, like, yeah, I'm one of the ones that heard them first before they really got signed and broke through, and, um, first time I heard them, I was in the Netherlands, and, uh, I was involved with the now, uh, Gone... A tragically uh, demised uh, God's Pleasure Ministry, and at the time they had a label called Bark Horse Records, and uh, and uh, well, that fateful day, they there was a package from Norway, and they sent a demo, uh, a Martyrium demo, which was pretty much album length, great songs, and uh, um, I loved it. The the other guys in the office, I mean, they their attitude was you know metal. Metal was pretty much dead and gone, and it was old hat. Oh, this is just, you know, rehash death metal. But, uh, actually, I think these guys were ahead. And, um, well, I really liked what I heard, and I kind of got made fun of, because I, I really liked it. And, and, and uh, so... You know, as interested as I was, I got the contact info from the band. I wrote them a letter. Um... And they wrote me back, and uh, actually, I thought they were selling their Martyrium demo, but they only used at the time the Martyrium, uh, which is now was released as an album later. But at the time, Martyrium was uh, just a shop around the different labels. So, you know, I, I sent the thing. I sent them ten Dutch guilders at the time before the nice euro. And uh, they sent me the tape of Despair, which I love just as much. And uh, when they started out, it was kind of a death doom metal, which I really loved. Um, I mean, I definitely loved that style for ages. Uh, and also with uh, the uh, real low uh, alto, alto singing. Um, what else can I say? And I believe before this, uh, they were called Crush Evil. They were more like a death metal band. And uh, they were threats that Euronymous made. The infamous Euronymous of Mayhem made threats that he was going to make them stop or, you know, tell them to stop or what else. But uh, a lot of the black metal hype, uh, hype, you know, I bought into, and I say with, you know, a lot of embarrassment and... When I did the zine editing, I, I even asked some questions about that. You know how, you know how much of that was for real, and how much of, of it was just you know exaggerated in the uh, metal press at the time. Now let's get on to the album. This uh, is, was released in '98 when they they signed to a. It's actually a secular label, Cacophonous, in it's a UK based label, and. Uh, well, from what the rumor mill said, that uh, they didn't find out it was a Christian band until the contract was signed, and they weren't happy about it. But, you know, under contract obligations, they had to uh, release the album. But uh, this is definitely a good, good, good one of Winterferden, a sovereign's fortress, Svartens Glemkos, Sorg Death, Bridge of Death, Gamleland, it's. Um, the ancient land, the old land, killed and lick an Andalus elf, and oh, Andalus elf, Kung's blood, King's blood. But uh, I love the Norwegian language, and as I said in other vids, I don't speak Norwegian, just really horrible Swedish, which you know, but uh, the languages are close enough, I can kind of. You know, make out every other word or sentence I, I see, or especially in text. Um, Danish is Danish throws me a little more for a loop every now and then, but all in all, I love the languages and the culture of Scandinavia. 
Then, uh, yeah, I believe I bought this from an underground music distributor, and I, I haven't played this in ages, but I lust. it's still a great album. And uh, this one is uh, Martyrium. This is the one I was talking about earlier. It was a, a label. No, th it was to uh, shop around to the labels, and then uh, I guess Samuel Derling had the bright idea to have it finally released for the fans and I was happy about it I think the only difference between this and, and the label that they shopped around to the demo or or excuse me the demo that they shopped around to the labels is uh, it had the song at the end uh, Jesus Jesus fair du homing Jesus Jesus fair du homing which is also on my uh, Antester Despair, uh, you know, demo EP cassette, and for you know that's been put away. Otherwise, I'd have it laid out with the CDs. But uh, you can get a glimpse of it if you check out uh, one of my uh, extras where I'm showing you my cassette stash before I packed it up. Martyrium. So I don't know if it's really a re if they redid the album, remastered it, or what. Or it's uh, I'm t I was definitely glad to get my hand on these songs and then three of, also three of the songs from the Martyrium Martyrium demo was on the uh, Nor the uh, Northern Lights Norwegian metal compilation which also featured Extol, Groms and Skaliak which uh, I chatted up in previous videos so um, but as far as like the Top two Christian extreme metal bands coming out of Norway. It would definitely be Antester and X Toll, um, at least for this point in time. I mean, I just love it. Definite atmospheric doom metal. I mean, and uh, that's just an example of such the rich variety within the metal genre. This is Antester Forsaken. I bought this when I was uh, visiting in the Netherlands. It came out in 2005. Um, Fear Dark, that's a Dutch based label in uh, Alfred on the Rhine. Uh, there's a nice little Dorpia or Stad, whatever you want. See, when I think about the Netherlands, suddenly my mind might switch back to Dutch now and then, but uh, all in all, great album. And uh, Meet Hjerta at the end, my heart, or with heart. Ah. Uh, like I said, I don't really know Norwegian. It's uh, Via Della Rosa, of course, if you know the Passion of the Christ and all that, you're sure you know about that. Old time cruelty. Right. This one is a little more the same, just, you know, has more, uh, again, you know, just like the previous album, there's a lot of a emphasis more on at creating an atmosphere and surrounding you more than, you know, just being brutal and pummeling you with riffs like other extreme metal bands do and and which is typical in the in the style the musical style of the black metal so it's either they're trying to pummel you with uh, really angry riffs and vocals or they're trying to create an atmosphere or they do both and uh, and and here you go this is Antester one of my top favorite Norwegian metal bands death doom slash black metal Stay away from lame music, and I certainly encourage you to check out Antester if you can. Rock on.